we are going to check and see. I set up this composter last summer and expanded my worms. Oh, yeah. I was wondering if they made it through the freeze, but they did. We made some pasta shells a week or two ago, and these are the shells we didn't use. So, I had read that you could do put that in here, and I did. And let's see what we've got. Oh, yeah. So, for those who don't think you can do vermicomposting here in the winter, look at that. They are happy, happy, happy. All right. Over here, all oh, those castings are great. Look at that. That's gonna be great going into the garden. So, if you're in when it gets spring, I'll quit feeding this and let them use up everything. And what I just dumped was some scraps from my kitchen and some celery, peppers things that I've cut, and, uh, cut up and I'm just going to put that under here, cover it up a little bit and they'll move into it as they want something different from this. But I'm very pleased. This is just eggshells. You can see right here another big wad of worms and I'd say there's castings in there that as soon as this weather warms up we will have you can see I don't a lot of people will say to um, use this in a way that you put it through a blender and make it into a pulp um, I don't do that very often at all but especially in the winter because I don't want to come out here and fool with them a lot it takes them a lot longer to break down these whole pieces of food this way I know they're good I don't have to open them up very often to dislodge that, you know, let that heat out. I just keep this cardboard over it to help their, keep their heat in. And like I said, it's just a, I think I picked this up for $25 on on Facebook and it's just a composter. Um, I love it, I love it for this. So for right now, it's helped me get them through the winter. Next summer, I may change it to something else and start using this for compost. 